morning, food foresters. Amy here. I'm getting ready to close the gate so I can let my chickens out <clears throat> and the ducks. Oh, that sun is bright. Whew. It's only like, oh, what is it? About eight o'clock in the morning. Whew. That is some bright sun today. So, we're gonna go check on the animals. Gotta feed them. We let now two crews out. We got Stupid's crew and his girls. And we started letting the ducks and He-Man and She-Ra out. And <laughs> they've been doing great. I am totally happy with He-Man and She-Ra. They are such a cute couple. And, uh, they're doing great, and we got stuff ready where we got another set of breeding uh, breasts, American breasts, and as you can tell, they're all excited. They noticed me, so I'll go through everything in just a second. Here we go. They know it's feeding time. How is everybody? Hi guys! Yeah! I know! What's up, he man? What's up, She-Ra? Hi! Hi guys! What's up? Are we looking extra good today? Yes, we are. Hi, babies. Yes. There's everybody else. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and get everybody fed. And I'll take you around. And we'll see how everybody is doing and what's been going on. Okay, so we're going to start off with the turkeys. These were our breeder pairs. Um, Big Boy is a broad-breasted white that was saved from last year's butcher. Hey, Big Boy! And then I have two gray slate mixes. Females. Now, they will be going to freezer camp when we go to butcher, only because Big Boy is huge. <laughs> and when he mounts the girls, yeah, they complain. <laughs> Hi, Big Boy! But we will be getting a breeder pair here soon. Are you waiting for the door? Yes. Hi, guys. All right, give me a second. Let me get the gate open for you. Come on out here, man, she -Ra. There's she -Ra. She's the smaller of the two. And here comes He-Man. Come on, He-Man! <laughs> They're both uh, Duluth geese. And um, our neighbor up the road uh, gifted them to us. And we are using them as our breeders, but also too as yard geese. Um, come on, E-Man. I promise. I won't bite you. I know you want with your girl. All right, come on. Oh, you guys dirty up the pool pretty quick. Jesus. Hello, Sarge. I'll come see you in a second, Sarge. All right, now the ducks that we have here. Hi, E-Man. Hi, honey. <laughs> 
your camera shy. <laughs> These ducks we are keeping mainly for eggs. <clears throat> they are the ones that were originally in the grow out pen. And some of them are just beautifully colored. They are all mixes. Some of them are, I want to say they are Peking, the white ones, but the dark one and the multicolored ones, those are Peking Mallard mixes. Oh, here goes He-Man. Are you guys going to go out? You going to go out and eat? We've been letting this crew out since this is a... Uh, we want to have more room in the yard. You can go out. <laughs> you know, I got to go out that way, right? Silly ducks. Where are you guys going? Yeah, you liking that grass, Shira? Yeah, you eat that grass. You be my lawnmowers. Oh, don't worry. We got the FedEx guy coming today, so don't don't chase him off, okay? Huh. I like how their neck flares up. See that? Hi, E-Man. Hi, honey. Yeah. All right, then over in here we have the teenager group um i can't really open this one because we do have the two pheasants that survived we have a handicapped duck and then we have some chickens in here but this is like the teenager pen um once they get big enough and they can't fit through the holes in the fencing then they'll graduate to the grow out pen which is over here yes all righty, and then here we have Miss Amber. Hello, Bun Bun. This is our female breeding rabbit, Amber. It's a New Zealand. Hello, Mama. Hi, I know, cameras are strange, huh? Hi, Mama. And uh, her, her babies are all grown, and it was a little bit too crowded, so we gave her her own space. Hi, Mommy. Yeah, I know, the camera's weird, huh? But she's a really good mama. And because of the heat, we actually took our box fans and hooked them up so that way they have air circulation during this high heat. And then here's the baby bum buns. Uh, these guys will end up going to freezer camp. We have four. This is a uh, female, female. Here's the male. And then the black one's a female. Hi, guys. Aren't you just cuties? Aren't you just cuties? Yes, you're cuties. Hi, baby. But it's kind of funny how each one turned out to be almost solid colors. And the mother is a solid black, but the father is a brindle color. All right. I'll be back in a little bit. Let me shut you. And they too have a box fan. Then over here is Daddy Bunny. His name is Buster. Um, he's got a fan up top. Hi, Buster. How you doing, baby? And he is the sweetest boy. So sweet. Hi, Buster. Yeah. Then next to Buster, we have this as a shade to help with the sun since the sun's right there. But over here, 
we have call duck babies. If I open up the cage, they'll run into their hideout. Hi guys. <laughs> They're just cuties. Those are the newest ones to be hatched out. And they're in that top part right here of our old quail cage. This is our American breast. We have a rooster. And two of the hens that he came with. The other two that have the black and white spots on, those are the California wine dots. Or the California whites, I should say, I think. I can't remember the exact name. Um, they were part of Stupid's crew, and we just added them in here so that way um, it had, we had a good number. But the American breasts are supposed to be really good, tender chicken breasts. They have blue feet, a red crown, and a white body. Then in this pen is our newest chicken edition. These are all purebred American breasts that we hatched out. It's a male and three females. Now with two different breeding sets we will be having this is going to be pretty much our main source for chicken. Um, we're going to be butchering some in the next couple of weeks here to try it out make sure we actually do like the taste of them but as you can tell these these guys are young we just put them in here a few about a week ago they're not laying or mounting yet but we wanted to make sure that they got together and um, became their own little group hi baby boy baby boy is our um, African goose that uh, come here baby boy hi honey I know it's a camera I know come on I know you want your patents yes hi baby boy I know the camera's scary I know camera's scary huh but baby boy helps protect Donald's call ducks um, we were able to add one in. Uh, there was another pure white one that hatched out. Call ducks are smaller ducks. They're like show ducks. And uh, they were used as decoys. Because of their small size, they were easy to transport. And they would call in other ducks for the hunters. Now, the babies that I just showed you, those three babies in the pen are also call ducks. The yellow one was hatched out by Bambi. That's Bambi there. Or no, that's Bambi. I'm sorry. Yeah. She and this one are females. The other two are males. But Donald has named them. We got Bambi and Donald. Batman and Daisy. So far. But once those three grow up so they can't fit through the fencing, they'll join everybody in here. And these we are keeping. Donald likes to call ducks. Huh? Huh, oh, baby boy? I know you're doing a good job being a good goose daddy, huh? Yeah. All right, stupid. You guys ready? And this is my yard crew chickens. My motley crew. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Come on out. Little Miss Brody, you're out too. Wow, come on, Miss Cochin. Come on, Little Miss Thing. <laughs> and they get let out every day too. And Stupid's crew is, like I said, my yard crew. That's all they do. They just roam, eat bugs. And they all go off to the shade. Hello, Sarge. 
Do you want some lovings? Hi, Sarge baby. Now this was the goose that I got at the local feed store. His story is he had a mate. They both got out. They both got hit by a car and his mate died. And he was a very angry goose. Huh, baby? I know cameras are scary. They don't like cameras. You want your lovin's? And look at this. I can pet Sarge. Yes. Come here. No, you don't like the camera. That <laughs> won't force you. Everybody in here is freezer camp. Um, we ha It's a mix. We got a couple of leftover turkeys from these guys. We were not happy with the genetics. That's why we're getting rid of these. Um, my other breeding pair, as you know, in the past um, were attacked by big predators. And um, we kept, he was the runt of the litter originally, and we kept him because he was too small to kill. And we had two gray slates left. So we did, for the season, we let them breed, but the genetics of their breeds did not, is not really that great. Um, we ended up with uh, these turkeys here, this black one. I have no idea how we got the black one. Don't know what genetic that is. And the gray one here. Um, they have like super long toes. So they walk a little funny. These two just graduated from teenager to the grow out pen. So I'm not sure. But it's another black and white one. I, I just don't understand where they got the black one. So because we didn't have any black black geese. What? What, Sarge? Are, are you not camera shy anymore? Do you want lovins? Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other chickens in here are from the breast. And as you can tell, these guys have blue legs where this one has yellow legs. So this one has that Americana in him, which is from the um the chickens that have the uh, black dots on them the black feathers i should say the uh the california whites is what they call them and as you can tell this chicken right here that's behind the turkey i can see has black spots on it too so even though it's got blue legs and it looks like a uh, american breast that one's a cross -blood. and then the rest of these guys are just the random ducks Aren't they pretty? Got some over here. Boy, you guys really mess up the water fast. Ducks, if you don't know, ducks are very, very messy and they stinky. So if you do get ducks as babies, keep them inside for a week, but get them outside as soon as you can because they will stink. Huh? And Sarge is in here to also do protection. Yes, you're doing a good job too. Yeah, I know, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> you got pretty blue eyes. They're trying to follow me. What are you doing? Hi. Are you following me? What you guys doing? Hi, he man. Hi, she ra uh -uh. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh uh What you guys doing? Yeah, you guys can go near the front. Just don't let it, just don't open up the gate, okay? You gotta keep that gate closed because Stupid and his crew like to go out on the road. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. What, do you want me to show you around? Huh? 
This is the front. Yeah, this is called the driveway. Yeah, that's where we park our cars. Yeah. Well, you really like the grass. Yeah. All right, well, I got to go in the house, okay, guys? So you have fun. Eat that grass. Keep it mowed for me, okay? All right, that's all the animals. As you can see me, see behind me, I got stupid screw all out there digging around at everything, <laughs> which is what we want them to do. So, oh, there they are. Now, like I said earlier, stupid screw is a motley... Uh, crew um, stupid is a leghorn um, and the reason why his name is stupid was because when we first got him we had the outside dog pen and and their the chickens were up against the dog pen for protection and stupid kept flying over into the dog area and like messing with the dogs and at the time we had a English bull mastiff named Sadie and we kept telling him, we kept telling stupid, we're like, his name, I go, will you stop being stupid? You know, we were like, stop being stupid. Don't be doing this. So the name stupid stuck. <laughs> um, but in that crew, I have a lavender Orpington, which is this Orpington. Over here, the two that are here, that's Miss Cinnamon Queen. That came from our neighbor. She's a troublemaker and our neighbor just said keep her i don't want her anymore <laughs> so she st she stayed then her buddy right here that's an easter egger um not sure if it's an americana or an anaconda she's got the puffs but i'm not sure which one um i have two black sex links we have one naked neck that's black um Ms. Or and then Miss Cochin. Miss Cochin is the little um, bantam chicken. And then that's my blue sex link here. Hello, Missy. <coughs> They're stupid. But that's it. Animals are handling the heat and humidity as good as we can get it. The rabbits, we put fans on everybody. So the fans run day and night right now. Um, and everybody's surviving, so I think Donald's got this weekend planned for butchering, uh, freezer camp, so we can get some meat in the fridge. You know, we are a working farm. As much as we do enjoy and love our animals, we also have to make sure that we can put food on the table for our families, and meat is expensive, and... Hi, stupid! <laughs> and so... We will be doing that probably this weekend. So the next time you see everybody, it's probably going to be a lot less, a lot less birds. <laughs> all right. We'll catch you all on the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye.